It's the morning, it's Wednesday, and Roll Dog and I are headed down to, uh, we're going to the Paddler's Warehouse. We're going to go meet our Paddlers today. Right. Mike we, Field? Uh, we're going to meet, we're going to meet up with, uh, Mike Field and, uh, a couple, couple of, of his others. brothers. One of the things that's going on is that, uh, we got hooked up through my coach, Chris Howth, we got hooked up with the top Paddlers on the island. It's a growing sport, and, uh. These guys are studs. Mike Field is, uh, if not the top paddler on the island, one of the top guys. Travels all over the world racing. Just got back from Tahiti. Oh, wow. And uh, he's racing with, uh, I believe he's racing uh, for Livestrong right now. So these guys are super studs. Uh, it's a huge honor to be uh, hooked up with these guys. I mean, these guys are top notch. Crème de la crème. So we're going to go over to their warehouse where they keep all their boats. I think it's amazing that uh, that Mike uh, basically emailed his brothers, his other paddlers, and was like, Jason Lester needs a paddler. And within minutes, there was like responses saying, I'm in. Mm -hmm. So that just goes to show you the, uh, the Aloha spirit here on the island. Storm hey, Cruz. So we, no, we just stepped over here off. to the, uh, like right to the warehouse there. and uh, oh, we wanted to show you this killer canoe. Board. In the car. That's amazing. Hey, you guys know we got our trailer? Look at the, uh, the, the best of the best right here. We race for Live Strong. We got Mike Field here. We got Mike. He's the navigator. And we got Odie over here who builds, uh, who builds canoes, actually. Wow. This is where these guys hang out. They keep all their toys. And uh, they've been kind enough to uh, step in and help us out. These guys are the studs on the island, so uh, we're very blessed to uh, have these guys be gracious enough to uh, help us out. So, How are you guys blessed enough to hook up with Livestrong? That's awesome. That's a great question. It kind of, I mean, it was, it was kind of a beautiful thing. It was like I, would, um, I was racing and uh, I got a friend involved in it, and we were doing so many um, races at required you know entry fees and right, right. neighbor islands and this and that and i was always you know struggling to find sponsorship yep. to to pay for it and to get that to the barge and back and forth wow. and and uh he uh this friend of ours was saying hey well you know instead of um going with all these different things let's just go under one umbrella right. and just fully support the strong and, and make a big impact that way right so uh we went that direction and so you got like one of one of your guys is tight with the Livestrong organization, or how? Yeah, you were telling he's just, me he's just right. tight with Lance. Right. And and Lance gave us his blessing, and and we've been very very careful about, you know, taking baby steps on anything that we do, and mm -hmm. keep him involved, and try to do the best we can. That's right? awesome. And and train as hard as we can, and 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 also try to help send the message out there. Right. That, you know. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys are you guys are pure vegetarians, right? Yeah, raw or How animal. killer is that? To go ultra marathon yeah. mm -hmm. with with no animal products. Rittiness? You don't Yeah, have so to. trying to create a little yes. yeah, awareness that, you know, cuz I think there's a lot of, you know, I mean most people obviously would think, oh, there's no way you can be an athlete without eating, you know, animal without eating meat and steaks and chicken and, you know, getting your yeah. getting your protein that way and, and uh, awesome. you so, imagine making that a goal. Yeah. And I yeah. think you're just eating clean and eating, you know, organic and, and having the foods awesome. be as close to their natural state as possible, you know, has the highest uh, nutritional value. Yeah. You know, and I've just found that you know, I've gotten stronger and leaner and I recover faster in between workouts and I just, you know, if I didn't feel good, like it started out like before getting back into sports, I started the diet because I was like, I turned 40, I was like 210 pounds, just didn't feel good, wanted to get back in shape and like gave this a try. And then I was like, man, I got so much energy, like I need to do, you know, like what am I going to do with all this energy? And then kind of like finding, that kind of led me into the ultra world, but the kind of nutrition shift started first. I would yeah, just, you know, yeah, like yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone's different, you yeah. know, like yeah. I'm not trying to tell people what to do, no, no, no. Yeah. everyone, I, yeah. but you know, like this is, I'm just sharing kind of like what I've been doing that's been working for me. But so. inspire people. It's cool. And like, there's been a lot of people who have been like, oh, I just bought a, vi like, yeah. I get emails like, I just bought a Vitamix, yeah. you know, like, right. I just like, should be getting paid by Vitamix. Right. 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 Yeah, we, yeah. You know, what's yeah. kind of off the radar. Well, I was watching the Tahitians ago. actually with a with a machete after a canoe race in uh, in in Samoa. With just like they had like a 
like a dive bag, yeah. all coconuts, and they yeah. just instead of drinking your Gatorade yeah. or your water, they just go. Yeah. yeah, the coconut water is super high in electrolytes. And they nailed us. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than Gatorade. Uh, now we're at the point where we want to, um, we're, we're, we're convincing everyone to get bikes, yeah. and now we're going to start using the bike as our cardio, so we're not having to burn out, you know, mm -hmm. our upper right. body right. and use the lower body to kill to build our heart and lungs and. You guys probably do. You do a lot of core work. Ye, not core. as much as we should, but uh, we're we're realizing that that's it's all core. It's I mean, all like core. especially yeah. stand up, right? Yeah, I mean, it would be it'd be great to collaborate and uh, um and pick your brain. Yeah. And 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 when we start getting the bike yeah. scene going, yeah, you can kind of steer us in the right for direction. It, man. Awesome. Nutrition's huge, and you know, Rich and I have been hanging out the past month. He's been out here for like you know three weeks, and just his knowledge as you see in the yeah. in the videos and stuff on just uh, the plant-based diets just been amazing and vibrant but, but Odie like you Jason is is just trying to do some really cool things with the youth around town oh, and, yeah, and, and yeah. keep people going and um, we sort of spearing ahead in this thing called Life Pursuits oh okay. but here's kind of our little fun oh. think tank so <laughs> you know nice but this is kind of the prank style you know Pure, a little bit of uh, Mike's yeah. art. Right? What's the website? It's uh, mfieldart.com. M -field -art. M yeah. yeah. we'll check it out. And then Odie does Pure, Pure Paddles. Is there a website for that? PurePaddles.com. Yep. PurePaddles.com. Pure pure check it out. Kylo Kona. Yeah, let me just Google it. Yeah, this was like a long time ago. Oh, you, so doing. you did the poster for the... The six mile swim from style. This is this is the mile swim one. This was yeah. the one that just happened. Yeah, that was a couple of years back. But that's kind of the whole fun style. And that was just taken uh, <laughs> off of Kaupulehu. Double hall. Yeah. This is Odie's workshop. It's where they get the paddles made. So this is another Livestrong so boat. A, this is a three man canoe that we were, uh, that we built. I mean, this, this was a wow. canoe that a, a friend of mine made years years ago that uh, was just sitting idle, and um, so uh, Odie's just yeah just refurbishing. And he has got this nice little dovetail pieces in there. Beautiful. This is what it looks like before you uh, carve it down. Yeah, it starts there and ends up. Look at this. Here. And then it ends up like that. Wow. Dave, it's all over here, sanding it. Mike and Mike and Odie, great guys, great brothers, great people to have in your life, and just full-on givers, man. And we just, we just feel so blessed and honored to, to have them jump on board with us for the Ultraman. And so they're gonna be, um, that crew is gonna be our paddlers. We're gonna go hang out with them in the next couple days down on the water and and check out the check out the currents and everything. So we gave you a little peek inside of uh, inside their their warehouse. As you can see, you can see the Livestrong um, boat in there. You know they're full on Yeah, boats. a couple. We saw two Livestrong so. boats, so they're full on sponsored by Livestrong. And so we're gonna give a shout out to Lance right now. Lance, the boys are doing it for you. The boys are so stoked to represent Livestrong, and they're uh, keep doing it, spreading the word. I mean, we are super, super lucky to have those guys around to uh, support us. Those are the top paddle men on the island. And uh, not only are they unbelievable athletes and, uh, you know, basically students of the currents, um, they're carrying a really positive message for the people on this island. They're doing really cool stuff. They're being of service to their community. And, uh, and it's just a really good vibe. You know, they got this warehouse over there. They're making their own paddles. They're making their own boats. They're employing uh, locals. And, uh, you know, they're putting the message out to kids and the community about what they're doing. They're raising awareness for good causes. And uh, it's just generally, like, a super good vibe over there, wouldn't you say? Like, super positive. And just, it's amazing that, uh, you know, we were able to connect with these people we just spent i mean i think we were there for two hours talking yeah. to those guys and they would have talked to us all day oh know? yeah totally. they just opened up their basically their home to us and you know gave us a tour inside and uh it was a really cool thing so we're feeling uh pretty excited about that relationship so we're gonna check in with you guys later but uh, what an awesome experience plant strong lance plant strong keep it up live strong <laughs>